YouTube, Ruger Dude 3 here. Um, just want to do another video. I did one earlier about my new channel. Um, I figured I'd just throw another one in there. I wanted to do a review on this one a long time ago. I just never got around to it. It's been moving and stuff. Anyways, what I got here is a Ruger SP 101. Um, it's a three and three quarter inch barrel, um, five shot revolver. Um, it came with with these grips on it, the standard SP-101 grips, but I mean, it doesn't really fit my hand very well and shooting 158 grain uh, 357 mag bullets out of this is, wasn't very comfortable. So I went with um, this um, Hogue grip, Hogue, Hogue hard plastic grip, and it fits my hands perfectly. Um, it is unloaded, just so you guys know. Um, the only thing I didn't really like is, was the trigger pull was really, really heavy on it. So um, I went to Midway USA and I bought the Wolf Spring, 10 pound connector spring, and I did a trigger job on it. And now this thing is smooth as butter. Single action is great too. Um, the only thing I wish this gun had was um, the high vis sights on it. It's just a standard blade sight. Um, that I'm really not a big fan of, but I guess it works in a pinch. Um, this gun is a really good gun. I've never had any problems with it. Um, nice, beautiful gun. I had bought this uh, Phobus holster, the retention holster. Got this from Midway for, a, I think it was uh, $15 for this holster. And I also bought a cheap little speed loader um, holder and then a couple speed loaders. Uh, the ammo that I keep in it is this Hornady Critical Duty 357 125 grain FTX bullets. Um, I'm a big fan of the Hornady brand, so uh, I keep these loaded in it. Um, also, some of the other ammo that I have for this is uh, this is a Hornady 357 mag 125 grain custom ammo. Um, this one doesn't have the Hornady plug in it, it's just just a regular hollow point bullet. Um, this one, as you all know, is a, is a Hydra shock. It's got that post in it. It's a 38 Special Plus P. Uh, it's 129 grain, 38 Special. Um, I also got the 38 Special Plus P, 110 grain FTX. Um, it's also got the red plugs in them, too. For um, this, I guess they put these in there. Um, so nothing fills up the cavity so it has better expansion and for when I go up to the mountains I got the big boys here I got the Corbon Hunter 357 mag 200 grain hard cast bullets I guess this is supposed to rip through a bear's skull um, with no problems um, that's what the bullet looks like up close imagine getting hit with one of those things probably wouldn't be very comfortable probably wouldn't feel it but this is uh, what I take when I go camping up to the mountains for a hike or um, just sleeping out overnight in the ground. Um, anyways, I, I got this gun, back to the gun, I got this gun about two and a half years ago. Um, I got a really good deal on it because when I bought my Ruger 380, um, I went back to the same guy and he was going to sell it to me for $500, but since I was a returning customer, uh, he sold it to me for $485, which I think was a really good deal for a Ruger SP-101. These guns go about from five to six fifty, brand new. So I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, got a really good um, dealer that I go to, Westminster Arms in uh, Arvada, Colorado. He's a real good guy, fair in prices. So anyways, um, just wanted to conclude this video. Close up. Close up. Um, I'll give you guys a little close up of it. If you guys want to see this, it's a five shot cylinder. Right there, it holds five rounds. Um, it's got the full under lug right here. Um, right there, some of the older revolvers won't have the under lug underneath it. But this one has a full under lug. This one doesn't have the serrations on the spur, I guess is what you call it. Um, functions 
pretty good. I mean, the tri like I said, the trigger pull is great. I did that trigger job. And I uh, put the hook grip on there. Um, in another video, if you guys want, I can show you how I did the trigger job on it. Um, it actually took me like 10 minutes to do it. Just replaced a couple springs, take the grip off. But anyways, um, that's my Ruger SP-101. Um, up close. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, any questions, comment, like, subscribe. If you, I know some of you guys may try to transfer to my other channel. So bring your buddies on and uh, we'll get some more great reviews out for you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great night.